Hello, my name is Diana Holliday, and I competed in the Jessup in 2005. We won our regional and advanced to the international rounds, and I've been a judge at the regional ever since. To prepare for the Jessup, you will be given several documents in advance of the competition, including the Compromi, Corrections and Clarifications, the Bench Memorandum, and several judge guides and checklists. Sufficient preparation is critical to the success of a round, so please review these documents thoroughly. The Compromi, also called the Jessa problem, describes the hypothetical case between two or more countries before the International Court of Justice, or the ICJ. The Compromi stipulates the facts of the dispute as agreed to by the state parties to the case, as well as their prayers for relief. The Compromi is intended to present the student competitors with a balanced problem, such that each side has strengths and weaknesses in its case. Participating teams will base their pleadings on the facts of the Compromi, and you will hear oralists refer to it often throughout their arguments. The Compromi is released in September, and thousands of law students around the world promptly begin working on their arguments. The Jessup Compromi is the result of months of research and writing by the Jessup authors, leading scholars or practitioners recruited and handpicked by the ILSA Board of Directors. The Compromi has been closely reviewed and edited by the ILSA Executive Office and by an outside committee of experts. Nonetheless, sometimes there are things that get overlooked or fast-moving developments in the law, and that's where our next document comes in. In November, all participants are invited to submit requests for clarifications and corrections. The problem author and editors review all the requests for clarification, there are often thousands of them, and decide which ones to respond to and how to respond. The corrections and clarifications document is then distributed as an amendment to the Compromis as it corrects mistakes and ambiguities in the facts presented. The administrator of your competition will provide you with the Compromis and the short corrections and clarifications addendum. These documents can also be found on the ILSA website at www.ilsa.org. Prior to an oral competition, you will also be provided with the bench memorandum or bench memo. The bench memo provides judges basic factual and legal information about the Jessup problem, thus enabling them to evaluate the performances of participating teams properly. Not every judge who volunteers for the Jessup is an international law expert. Recognizing this fact, the bench memo is designed to prepare volunteers of all legal backgrounds to judge. Keep in mind that the bench memo is not an exhaustive treatise on the legal issues raised in the Compromi. It is designed to cover all of the strongest arguments, but does not anticipate every argument or approach. So you may hear meritorious arguments from teams that do not appear in the bench memo. Because the bench memo is in some ways an answer to the Compromi, it must be kept confidential. Due to its confidential nature, the bench memo will be sent to you by the administrator of your competition. Please do not allow Jessup competitors or coaches to see it, even after the competition has ended. Finally, ILSA also provides written judge guides, which contain information about oral round procedure, key players, the role of judges, what to look for in a round, and other judging hints. These documents can be found on the ILSA website. To prepare to judge, you will need to read the Compromi and the Bench Memorandum at least once before the competition. We recommend that judges read these documents more than once so that they can better evaluate and challenge teams during the oral rounds. Most competitors will strike you as very impressive, particularly when it comes to their scope of knowledge. They have worked extremely hard, preparing for months, and deserve a fair hearing by competent judges. With this in mind, please come prepared.